Hi everyone and welcome on this new Popcorn FX video tutorials. In this video, we are going to show you how to change a world space particle system into a local space particle system and why do we need that. First of all, let me explain what's the difference between a world space and a local space. In a world space particle system, the particles are launched into a world space, so it means it lives their own life right after it gets emitted. In most situations, a world space particle system is enough. But sometimes, if we need the particles to get parented by their spawner, we need local space. In this situation, we want to keep this sphere shape. And for that, we are going to create a new evolver on this layer. So, make a right click into the state, create a new evolver and select the local space evolver. We are going to put the evolver into the top. And as you can see, these particles are now parented to the emitter. However, those trails are still in world space, so we're gonna fix it. Let's create another new local space evolver. Popcorn FX play this evolver by order, and before it apply every other evolver, we need the particles to parent their spawner first, so that's why we drag the evolver at the top. Because we are in a spawner evolver, we need to check this local space spawn box. Now it's fully local space. And don't forget the last one. In this situation, we have a position update in our Evolver script. If we try to move our spawner, as you can see, the effect is breaking apart. Even if we have a local space Evolver, our position is still update in a world space. And to make our position to update in a local space, we just have to put the Evolver script into a local space Evolver. Our position is now in a local space, and the effect is finally usable. Because of the parenting update, a local space particle system is more heavy performance than a world space particle system. So be careful with this. And that's all for these tutorials. Thanks for watching.